Now, was this was this on a Tuesday? No, this was on a Friday. Well, you see, there's your issue. Tacos right. are supposed to be on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, and that's they probably run a special on them on Tuesday. But yeah. so somebody found out that there's a local place that serves tacos. There's a lot of local places that serve tacos, but this particular place serves them in like a big pizza box, and they're beautifully, you know, arranged in there like a damn assortment of flowers or something. The presentation is what they have. Oh yeah, and they're good tacos. Um, I think for a box of twelve tacos and like some a couple sides, it's about thirty dollars. Uh, so we got two boxes. <laughs> And uh, we fed five and a half. Because we had seventy-five dollars in the budget. Yeah, and uh, so, but the thing is, is so the person showed me like, man, they, you know, he loves tacos, and I like tacos, and he's like, look at these tacos. I was like, oh, cool. Where is that? He's like, oh, uh, uptown Wahala. I'm like, oh, sweet. You know, I know where that's at. And, uh, <laughs> uptown Wahala, he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know how to get there. And so. Uh, Yesterday, I decided, you know what, I'm going to order some tacos and feed some of the boys, you know, at the sales team. So I call this place, I figure out where they're at, I call the place, well, I don't figure out where they're at, I figure out the phone number. I call them up, and I said, hey, are you guys the ones who do the boxes of tacos? And the lady said, okay. And I said, do you guys have the big boxes of tacos? And she says, un momento. I'm like, Okay. That means, wait a second. That means, let me get some speak English to you. <laughs> That's what happened. So then I hear chirping in the background. Chirping, you see? Yeah, plenty of Spanish going on, you know, and... Uh, somebody, but else. now that's a good sign when you call a taco place and they're all speaking in Spanish. Yes, you may be headed down a good path. Yes. Yeah, but you may not be, but you'd never know. Yeah, so, true. so but you, you got know. a chance if they're right. all speaking Espanolo. And so, I, so they get so somebody else gets on the phone and she says hello, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's one. You know, now we're getting somewhere. I said, do you guys are you guys the ones who do the big boxes of tacos? And uh, she said, tacos? And I said, yeah. She <laughs> said, si. tacos, burrito, we got them all. See, si. I said, <laughs> Gelato. I said, cool, can I, get a, can I order a box of the birria tacos, which is shredded beef and like a fried shell? It's great. Hard and, shell, right? Well, sort of. It starts out as soft, but they put the meat and the cheese in there, fold it up, and then they fry it, shallow pan fry it, which uh-huh. is good. The shallow pan. And the only thing yeah. you wouldn't you don't like is put it in deep. Don't no put it in the well, deep pan. Then no. you think you're making pizza. They do. And then I said, "Can I also order a box of the pastor, which is marinated pork, like uh, pork chop, just thin sliced? You know, kind of. I don't know what the fuck pork it is, but it's some kind of pork. Different. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good. And they serve that one with uh, no cheese, but a little pineapple in there, make it sweet because it's a little spicy and it's top notch." I said, can I get one box of each? See? I said, uh. That means I, yes. Yep. Yeah. I said, how long before I can come get them? He said, okay. I said, how how long? You know. <laughs> now. She we're said, making them now. Okay. <laughs> I said, 20 minutes. She said, see. I said, all right, cool. See, I'll be there in 20. Yes. See. Hung up the phone. I said, all right, I'm going to go uh, get these tacos. So I go. And in Wahala, there's a uh, plethora of Mexican restaurants and stores. Correct. And uh, so I pull up to one, and I I had like a loose address for this place. It told me the street. But, but it, that was all? Yeah. And there was three Mexican restaurants on that street, wasn't there? Right. Yeah. So I pull up to one, and I'm like, mm, I don't think this is it. <laughs> so I'm kind of looking around, you know. I didn't go in. I'm outside looking. You wait for somebody to come out with a box of tacos. Bingo. Yeah. Didn't happen for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and so I'm like, I, I think I need to go around to the next street and see if it's over there. And so now I get to the right street. The problem is, is I ordered two boxes of tacos. So about 30 tacos. This street has two Mexican restaurants on it and a Mexican store or a tienda, if you will. What'd you call it? Tienda. Tienda. That means store. That means Mexican you store. They heard it. You heard it. <laughs> so I know it's not one of the Mexican restaurants for sure because I've been there. But there's 
I don't know if I'm supposed to go to this Mexican grocery store or the actual restaurant. And you're thinking, well, you're ordering tacos, so go to the, you don't restaurant. need the supplies, you need the restaurant. No, no, no. I choose opposite. I said, I'm going to go in the store just to see. So I walk in and it is it's basically like a mini Walmart for Spanish people. And I'm going to keep conflating Mexican and Spanish just because there's not real Spaniards here. You know, they didn't and, come uh, from Spain. In other words, mm-mm. no, 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 no. And so I walk in and I'm the only, there's one other person in there, an old Mexican dude who's sitting at the counter talking by like, between some glass to a lady and I could tell he's doing some Western union and, and sending money somewhere. And I'm like, uh, so the lady looks at me and she's like, uh, Oh, my I was like, see, that, you start, you to speak <laughs> Spanish. I start, you start talking Spanish. And then you see. I'm in the world. So now I gotta be, and I'm looking around like they have like glass cases by the, they they have so much shit in this place. It is a grocery store, a mini Walmart, a mini C or a Mexican Walmart, a Mexican CVS. Hardware store. Yeah. yeah. They had hammers. Yeah. Uh, and boots. God almighty, they had boots. <laughs> and so I'm looking around and they had one guy back there cutting meat, like fresh, like a butcher. Mm. Goat meat. Mm. They had it labeled, but some of it was not. None of it was in English. I don't know a lot of what it was. But anyway, so now You can I'm, speak Spanish, but you can't read it. I can Here's the thing. I can speak enough Spanish to get by. Like, if you drop me in Mexico, I could find the embassy. Well, here's what we're about to find out. Can you speak enough Spanish to find your tacos? Amen, brother. So here's what happened. So the lady finally, or the guy finally gets done doing his union and, and sending money. And he, then he walks over to like a freezer type thing and like picks out some ice cream and just starts looking at it. And like, this is a three minute window. He's looking at the ice cream, and he just puts it back, and he just leaves. I'm like, you talked yourself out of ice cream that fast? <laughs> like, what are you? so the lady comes out. I said, "Hey, are you the guy? Are you the ones who do the boxes of tacos?" And uh, she says, "See." I said, "I called. You know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do sign language and <laughs> like, as, like she's deaf. Yeah, I'm trying to do as much Spanish sign language as I can. You know." <laughs> And I said, I'm the one who called about the tacos, you know, two boxes. And she said, see, see. I said, cool. And, but she's just standing there. She's not going anywhere. She's not going to get them or anything. No. I'm like. Oh, she's, yeah. Basically, she's getting your order. She could make you another two boxes. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> are they under the counter? or And in the little glass case in the counter, they have everything you could get on, like, when you walk into Walmart and go to the pharmacy immediately, that first aisle. They have all of that. But just the Spanish version of it. <laughs> And it's uh, like Tylenol, the generic brand is a, or the generic name for it is acetaminophen. They have that. They don't say, you know, Mexican Tylenol. It says acetaminophen or acetaminophen. Ah. I'm like, oh shit, I know. It's got an O on it. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and they got a uh, there was some melt in there that it was. Oh, it was like a uh, fake urine for like passing a drug test. You went ahead and got you some of that while no, you was there. No, 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 no. I don't. Uh, I don't need them to run my shit and be like, "Oh, he's Spanish. He's from he's, yeah, from, he's Spain. from Mexico." They got, yeah, they, they they could tell it's Mexican be anyway. So, mm. Well, sure they could. Yeah. I mean, maybe. But anyway, so finally, the lady's just looking at me, and I'm like, "The tacos are they rich?" Like, see, see. I'm like, "Cool." And so she wanders to the back of the store, goes through like uh, saloon doors. And I'm like, this is, um, I'm going to get shot. <laughs> she comes back up with three people, her plus three, mm. two boxes of tacos and like three bags of takeout boxes. And I'm like, and the two boxes, I know they're tacos because they're the pizza boxes and they have wrote on what they are. And I'm like, okay, I know and that. Taco and wrote that. on them? Yeah. Oh. And uh, she comes back up front with her that and three people and like three bags worth of stuff and they had some little canned drinks you know in a cooler behind the register and so i walked behind the register and got like four little canned drinks i said no 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 i'm like no 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 it's whatever what are you talking about no what do you mean (laughs) she's like me i'm like you gonna drink all of them (laughs) yeah now i'm trying to figure it out i'm like ah there's a disconnect here so anyway I get the drinks. I put them on the counter. She puts the tacos up there, and the lady starts punching in the pricing. 
And then she said seven dollars and twelve cents. <sighs> no, one hundred thirty-two dollars and twelve cents. <laughs> yeah, she said. Uh, she said it in Spanish, and I. If she if she was here now here, and said it, I could tell you what number it is, but I can't tell you what number it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she says it, and I'm like, see, you know. And then the other lady who was unhelpful to begin with is like, uh, Dolores. I'm like, who's that? Who Dolores? <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah. And I'm looking at the other three people like. What are y'all doing? Talking to one of y'all, like, and they all had on like little aprons, like they were working, you know, not mm-hmm. working, but like doing fixing food and shit. And uh, so I'm like, I think she's talking to one of y'all. <laughs> I and can't understand what she's saying. So anyway, she tells me the total, and it's like eighty dollars or whatever. And I knew it was going to be that, so I wasn't like, what, you know? And she keeps tra- she keeps saying, and I'm like, see, see, okay, you know. And then one of the other ones, she, the one behind the register looks at one of the other ladies and is telling her something in Spanish so she can tell me in extremely limited English what she's saying. And so she, yeah, 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 and tells her. And then the lady looks at me and she says, yeah, 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 80. I'm like, yeah, I know. Or, you know I'm not deaf like that lady. And so she, finally, then she turns, so I got cash, right? I'm holding cash in my hand. And she says, uh, cash or card? And I'm like, yep. See, you know. So finally, and then she turns the screen around to show me how much it is. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, it was like $73 or something like that. And they kept making up different numbers. <laughs> I'm like, I'm white. I don't know a lot of what you're doing. So you could tell me any number, and I'll have to go with it. So I had four 20s, and I was like, here, here. It's for the... Uh, for my tacos. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, oh, okay. And the other girl goes, change? I said... Well, sure. <laughs> I said, yeah. no, no, no. No, I don't need no change. I'm, we're good. You know, I'll give you a $7 tip, because you made me 30 fucking tacos in 20 minutes. And I didn't say that. <laughs> you know out loud <laughs> right but i thought i was like no nah, that's cool whatever you know because i don't want to get i don't want to have another 20 minutes of this back and forth these tacos are going to get cold plus the company's paying for them no i paid oh, for them. well <laughs> yeah so we'll do all the shit so i get now i got to tote out two full pizza boxes all them three people didn't help you no they were i don't think they're allowed to go outside <laughs> so i'm toting all this out and i got three bags and then a bag full of drinks and so I'm making my way to the truck, you know, so I put it all in the back and I get in there. And I'm like, that was wild. Like I went, I feel like I just went to Mexico without the long plane ride. <laughs> and I'll tell you this much. I was not upset with it one bit. That I'll order, good, huh? I'll order it again, not on a weekly basis because it's kind of expensive, but I'll order it on a monthly basis. Cause it is the drinks you got while you was in there. Now, what kind was they Mexican drinks? Well, here's yeah, sorta. They were Coke. Coke. And I, yep. And I had then I could see it in the cooler. I was like, okay, I know the difference between regular American Coke and Mexican Coke. Regular American, they feeding us some bullshit. It's delicious. It is, but the Mexican Cokes are still come in a glass bottle. And they still have real sugar in it. Oh, I was going to say they have still have real cocaine in them. And they still have real cocaine in it. <laughs> he did say it. So, I got three regular American-ass Coke Zeros in a can, like little 12 That's for know. the people you don't like. Well, and for me, because I'm back fasting. But that didn't work yesterday. <laughs> I just ordered 30 tacos. I'm back fasting. Yeah. yeah. And so... Uh, well, it's going to be 60. Yeah. <laughs> but then I got... Two of the little twelve ounce glass bottle Mexican cokes. Because now, like, what, 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 what's the name of the Mexican coke? I know it ain't Coke. Oh no, it's the same label. Oh, it is. But on it, it just says Mexican Coca Cola. <laughs> oh, don't say El Coca Cola or Coca Cola Ale or something. Now, that would like be that. better if it did. But oh. it's it legit on there says Mexican Coca Cola, and I'm like, okay, now I know which where it's from. You know, they didn't bottle it in Georgia. So, or maybe they did. <laughs> anyway, so I get back to work and I walk and I don't know what's in these bags. 
Like I knew that you got your tacos and you got your little everything that comes with them, like your limes and your cilantro and your cheese and yeah. lettuce and tomato. Right. And con- <laughs> condoms is what you uh, – con- no, Condominiums. Condom- condominiums. Yeah. Condominiums. Yeah. yeah. I would – El Trojans or whatever. <laughs> that would have been <laughs> – if it have, if that's what would have been in that bag, I'd have lost my shit. <laughs> so I get back to work and I, I sit him down on the desk, and one of the other guys was like, "Damn, they made them quick." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "What the hell's in all these bags?" I said, "I have no idea." <laughs> so we set the tacos down. We peek at them to make sure they're tacos. Shut that back down. Now we're looking through these bags. I don't know. They're they have a menu that you can order from. And it says 12 tacos plus all your fixings or what are your fixings, you know. Mexican said fixings. They didn't call it that, but they called it, you know, whatever they call it. But I'm calling them fixings because, okay. you know, Dr. Amon. So we'll better understand it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we can't speak Spanish. No. You know. And so so we start opening up these bags. And there's three full, like, Winn-Dixie bags of, like, takeout boxes. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell's in these. I'm thinking more salsa, more cheese, more... Nope, not at all. We open up the first box, and it's a bunch. It's like two cans of beans that aren't cooked, just loose in there. And I knew they weren't cooked because I touched them. I was like, "These are not warm." I'm not putting, you know, beans out of a can directly on my. T- I was like, "Okay, maybe they're more fixings." Nope. Open up the next one. It was like six avocados that weren't even cut or sliced. They're laying in there. Yeah, they're like mm. you do it. <laughs> The next one I open up had shoelaces in it. Shoelaces. Like, what the fuck is, what are we doing? <laughs> like, I think they took my what order. What size of them shoelaces is what I want to know. Right. I think they took my order and then gave me someone else's order with it. Because I ordered these tacos. And it should have came with some beans, which it did, uncooked, which was disappointing, and some rice. It was like four packs of like Uncle Ben's or whoever it is now, you know, because we're PC. We had to go put them in the microwave, like cut them open, you know, put them in there. And so I'm like, well, this isn't one of the boxes had shoelaces, like 14 packs of shoelaces. I'm like, who in the fuck needs this many shoelaces? <laughs> Do you said they sold boots? Yeah. Oh, well, I, what happened is they got in there by mistake. Somebody I guess. got them off the boots. We opened the, the, the part that bothers me is, so we opened the next box. It had a hat in it. A hat? <laughs> yeah, just like a baseball hat. <clears> that <throat> didn't have anything on it. It was just a red hat. I'm like... Okay, I might have got... It started to sound like you got a pretty good deal. I did. I got a lot of stuff for $80. I mean, I, if I went to Walmart right now, I'd come out with a bag and maybe carry in a box of like laundry detergent for $80. Yeah, what you're not thinking about, though, is, see, some elderly Mexican gentleman ordered for the weekend. Yeah. He's got to work this weekend. Right. He ordered him some food, going to need him some shoelaces and a hat because he got to work out in the sun all weekend. And guess what? You got his food and his shoelaces and his hat. So picture him out there in the hot sun with his old hungry. head shining. Hungry. Yeah, hungry. Yeah. All weekend hungry because well, you got his stuff. Here's the worst part about the whole story that, I, that keeps rattling around in my little pea brain is <coughs> that little restaurant next door. Yeah. They're still standing there fuming because they made 30 freaking tacos and two boxes of stuff to go with it, and the son gun that ordered it ain't showed up yet. Right. That's what I was afraid of when I left. (laughs) And I was... I'm afraid they had your phone number. They're going to call you. Are you on the tacos? Yeah, they could call me and just bitch at me for an hour in Spanish, and I just have to listen and be like, oh, I know what that means. Oh, I got that one. I know what that one is, you know. But... uh. Yeah, shoelaces, a hat, a bunch of avocados, and some kind of like milk. Like it's not powder, but it's like a when you buy milk at the store, you either get a gallon or a half gallon, or if you just you know really want some milk right now, you get a little pint or whatever. You know, if you want to drink it on the way on the way home. What'd you get? This was like a little. Uh, remember, I don't, did y'all have juice boxes when you was a kid, or was that when I was? No, that was when you were okay. They had the juice boxes, you know. They're about four and a half, six ounces of juice with a little straw Flavor water. Yeah. yeah, there was like four of those in a to-go box. And I'm sitting there thinking, maybe don't put everything in a to-go box because I'm thinking we got a damn pile of food, <laughs> and we did. We got 
30 tacos. Now this fella's going to have to work all weekend that's yeah. hungry. Now and his thirsty. kid's at home hungry. Yeah, right. And he's hungry and thirsty. Yeah. yeah. And so I opened those, and they were like little, uh, I forgot what the word for milk is in Spanish, but. Lactose. Yeah, like Mexican milk or whatever. <laughs> and They I'm, say that on there, Mexican milk. <laughs> yeah. They call it. Spanish well, they, cow. Yeah. They call it something like that. And uh, it's not Laura Lynn. It's like <laughs> L- you know, El Laura Lynn. Lynn. yeah, or La Laura, Laura Lynn. Linda, yeah. right? <laughs> and so uh, I was like, I think I got somebody else's order. Now everybody at work's laughing, and I'm like, Listen, some bitches, I'm the one who bought all these tacos <laughs> and be... the shoelaces and the hat, yeah, and the avocados. <laughs> and so I, uh, we making guacamole, boys. <laughs> I just kept it. I'm like, I don't think they have a return policy. I don't think you can go into a tienda and, you know, get too much stuff and then run back and be like, oh, I don't think this is mine. They had never figured it out. I'd have, I'd they didn't say it's yours anyway. Yeah, I'd have been there overnight trying to figure out how to give this shit back to y'all. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. So, but I would highly recommend those tacos because <laughs> they were delicious. And, uh, yeah, I'll get them again. And you say this is, uh, you went in the grocery store, Mexican grocery store to get this. Yeah. wonder what happened if you ordered from a Mexican restaurant, what would you get? I probably would have got the... Ingredients I, to make them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I probably would have got a big box of tacos, but I bet it would have cost me three times as much. Because, I don't know, like, it is a, you if you, okay, not if. Y'all ain't never been in a tienda, right? No, I, I don't reckon I ever been in a, no, in a what'd no. you call it, tienda? Yeah. Okay. Well, next time I go. Is it tienda? Does that mean grocery store or does it mean supermarket? What does that mean? You do I you think it idea? just means store. Store. Okay. Supermercado is supermarket. Oh. So tienda is just. So oh. what is a, what is a Walmartado? The Walmart? <laughs> Probably. Mexican Walmart. Walmartado. Yeah. The at Walmart These though they Spanish have like, lessons we're getting right here, dog. Oh yeah. They have a day though, like it and it used to be Tuesdays, I think. Taco Tuesday. Yeah, there you go, Taco Tuesday. No, 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 no. It was like a Tuesday where if you went into Walmart between the any Walmart. Any Walmart. Between the hours of ten AM and four PM on a Tuesday, you wouldn't see any white people in there. Or black people. Or Asians, you would see Spanish Mexican people in Walmart because, like, I don't know if there's like a bulletin or like a certain news like Telemundo that they check out, <laughs> and that tells them, "Hey, this is your window. You go. That's our time." But it blocked it off for us. Mm. I don't know why it was Tuesday between you know those hours, but we're you, getting stuff to make tacos. Yeah, a lot of them, but they also buy extremely weird stuff. Not all of them. The ones that I would see in Walmart would. You know, you go to Walmart and they got their Walmart brand chicken packs. Well, there's like 64 chicken breasts in a damn pack, you know, that's yeah. good for three days and then it's gone bad, you know. But they also have like chicken hooves or whatever. Feet. Chicken hooves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but that, and they're buying those. And Cow I'm, beaks. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I didn't know they had that here. I guess you had to go ask for it. And then I thought, who in the hell did you ask? <laughs> because I know whoever's back there doesn't know what you're talking about. Can you speak Spanish? Yeah. So. You're like, let me get a 128 pack of chicken hooves. And that guy's like, what? What? <laughs> and you're telling him again in Spanish, you know, pollo hoofs. <laughs> and <laughs> we learned all kinds of Spanish today. Yeah. Yeah. And they, he's not understanding. So he just cut whatever off a of chicken and. Here you go. Se- vacuum sealed it, put it in your buggy, you know. So it was a unique experience, and uh, I'm glad it was me. And I'm glad it was you and not yeah. me. That's yeah. all I can say. I'm, I'm glad mean. it was you and we wasn't with you. Well, next time you're going to be. Well. <laughs> yeah, we're going to next time. We're we going to be filming, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd love to see you talking to us. That's them. what I was just sitting yeah. here thinking. Uh, once again, yeah. nobody bothered to pull out the phone and say, this would be good to, to share with my friends and loved ones. Nope. Um, didn't do it. No, I didn't want to alarm them more than I already was <laughs> because. Well, first of all, you go in uh, Mexican. What'd you call What'd you call it? Tienda. Yeah, but what'd you call it? Uh, well, Walmart, though. What'd you call it? 
No, the where I went was a tienda because it was just a regular yeah, store. Yeah, but what did you call the other one? Supermercado. Mercado, that's right. Yeah. I can see your ass going in a Mercado, and you mm. nine feet tall, and all them in there is four feet tall. That's exactly You know, So you're an alien walking there to start with, and you probably got that hood on like you do now, and they're thinking, they oh, my gosh, us. what in the world's mm-hmm. happened? You know, And then you go try to talk to them, yeah. and you say, what you say? Chicken hoofs, is that way, you know. Yeah. So, and you do, and you got to use your hands. You always yeah. do. You, you, chicken hoofs. Little hoofs. Yeah. The feet. yeah. <laughs> you know. Chicken hoofs, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to have been a fly on the wall in there. Well, next time I'm taking y'all. <laughs> I didn't want a video at the first time because it's alarming enough for me to walk in there and be a foot and a half taller than everybody. <laughs> yeah. White, you know, trying to get a big box of tacos. Trying to speak Spanish. And, yeah. And that's, I know enough Spanish to get me in or almost out of trouble. <laughs> so, and it worked out. I got a big box of tacos and they were awesome. And so, some extra goodies to go with it. Yeah, and I feel bad for whoever that guy was, Hector or whatever, <laughs> that didn't get all of his shit. Poor Hector. Yeah. Because yeah, he hid sunburnt today, I guarantee it. Yeah. He's yeah. hungry. Starving to death. Hungry, starving to death, thirsty. thirsty. You know, can't wear his boots because they won't stand on his feet. Off. Yeah. It was a unique time. It was a uh, unique time. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It was something. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me no more. That's all I got. I uh, don't have a lot of. I did the best I could. I well, got the, the only thing I'm gonna remember is well, I ain't, well, apparently I didn't remember. What's that? What'd you say Walmart was? No, supermarket. Supermercado. Mercados. Yeah. Mercado. So that's Mercado. Mercado. Yeah. That sound like uh, that's something. Uh, Mercado sound like something uh, Super Mario would ride in. Mm-hmm. Mercado. Don't don't not to you. I yep. mean. It definitely could be. Um, well, I think congratulations are in order uh, because one of the uh, former you boys, uh, when this comes out, he'll be getting married probably while this is airing. So, hopefully, everybody that's listening to this and figuring out how to order tacos and a pile of them uh can congratulate josh on getting married uh josh this josh my youngest son caleb's a, a younger brother you yeah. know and all the two kids i got you've seen him he has that a you're gonna claim yeah, yeah. on this podcast you've seen josh yeah over the years the podcast it it, it said expanded you know we Josh, Josh and Trey and Caleb, you know, <clears throat> then it metamorph, uh, metamorph, uh, metam- uh, it transversed to something different. Mm-hmm. And then we found over the years, they've been so many <clears throat> guests come in and <clears throat> different musical acts. Uh, and Josh was here for a good bit of it, but he has he was late for most of it, but, <clears throat> yeah, late but, for all of it. yeah, he was but, late for all of it, yeah, but. So, he was a very, uh, very contributing factor. In- instrumental to part is what mm-hmm. the, way, the way they refer yeah. to it. He was instrumental in the success of the show. Yep, but he's getting married now, and so he's gonna have you know bigger shit to do and bigger was, fried fish. Yep. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> congratulations to Josh, and maybe someday he'll make a guest appearance. We might can talk him into that. I doubt it. Even if we do, he'll be late. We'll have to get him bringing moustache. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, yeah, and his hat. Yeah, and his hat. 